Hey guys, welcome back. So in this particular video, we will be looking into a contact list. Okay. So what is this contact list? So you will be having certain letters and few of my contacts in that particular letters. Okay. So what am I trying to do with this? Right. So if it, I'm trying to build up something kind of a filterable contact list. So if I write M here, so all the particular value with that particular M or the letter with the, with that particular M will exist and rest all the names without M will vanish away from the, from the doc. Okay. So now if I do M a, yes, Gautam doesn't have an M a, it has a M. So it will not work. So all this has M a to start with, right? So next thing is N. Yes. One thing went away. Mahesh went away. And if I do K, right? None has something called as M A N K. Okay. If I do M A N I, yes, it stands, stand, uh, stands out there. And Manish and Manikanta has M A N I in common. And if I do K, only Manikanta stands out. And if I do Z, everything vanishes away. Same way, if you can check for G A, only G A thing stands out there. And if I type Z, everything vanishes away. So this is kind of a cool application which we are going to build in this particular video. I hope you will like it because this will again uh, tackle your JavaScript knowledge and we are going to build this with the plain vanilla JavaScript without any particular framework. Okay. So keep that in mind. And if I, if one more, one more cool stuff about this is if I start typing something and if I start erasing that, and if I come back to that particular initial thing, everything loads up for me. Okay. So that's what we are going to build. It's a kind of a filterable list in vanilla JavaScript and let's see how, how we can build this. Right. So we'll go back to the code. Go back to the code and we'll just uh, delete everything, save it, go back. And yes. So we are on a plain scale. So what we'll be using is we'll be using just an index.html file. Like we did that in, did, uh, did that in two of our uh, videos for weight converter. At the same time, we have done one more video called as a number facts, right? Using APIs. So we'll be doing, doing, doing this is a kind of a small application. So I think probably I want to close it very fast. So we'll be doing it in one particular file. The script also I'm trying to involve it in this particular file itself. Okay. So let's get started without any further ado. So this is, this is normal, normal things which you are, which you already know. So I'll keep, give this a name as filter. All right. And probably the uh, CSS I'm going to use here is not bootstrap because I've already used a bootstrap for the other two other two applications which we have already built and if you if you did not check that particular videos guys uh, uh, please check to our channel and try to figure out what are the other other videos which have already there i think you can you can get most out of it because i will i am trying to do different different stuff with the, so that every video will be unique in the in their own ways okay so what i'm trying to use in this is uh, uh, something called as materialized css so this is one one more css uh, framework uh, to make your styles much more much more simple for designers like me or for developers like me who is not fond of designing i think these kind of uh, css uh, frameworks are really helpful so now go to go to go to this particular website uh, materialize.css uh, I'll, I'll drop a link here so you can uh, in in the description so i think you can just check it out so what i want what i want to do is you guys have to you have to just go through and see some of the components in materialize css they are really really cool and i think you guys will love it so what you, what you need to do is you have to go here and pick pick that particular CSS from there. Uh, just copy it, uh, come back to your code and just uh, try to try to paste it here, right? You have to paste it here, save it. Yes. So the link has been pasted. So the next thing what we want to do is, so we'll done with the title head and now uh, we'll do a div with a class of basically container, right? So container is normally a class that's same in uh, bootstrap too. And then one more class of center align. So this is center align is specific to uh, materialized CSS. So I, I highly recommend you guys just going there and uh, just watching this. So let me make this H1, right? H1. I highly suggest you guys going there, uh, going to that particular website and looking into a few of the classes of it, uh, materialized CSS. So what I will do is I'll do contact list. All right, contact list and uh, did not come. Why are we missing anything? 
adduct class is equal to container writing inside the body itself uh, once can i just refresh yes yes contact list has come because that's a first refresh okay so after that i think uh, we are going to do the uh, input tag okay so input tag there's a cool part in uh, materialize css so it will uh, materialize css comes up with a sample design for any kind of input field so input field is equal to text if you do uh, if you do so much uh, with the placeholder i'll just show you uh, placeholder is equal to a search name if i can type that there search name and save it and if you go here it's already it's already styled for you so that's important for that's a fun part of materialize css so i highly recommend you guys going through this okay so we are done with our input field and the next thing what we want to do is a, a, a ordered list unordered list and the list items so basically ul tag uh ul tag um, i forgot to give the id here so we'll give an id because that is required in javascript so what i will do is i will do filtered input okay filtered input is the id which i have given and yes so okay okay the h1 has to end here right h1 has to end here okay uh, so ul uh, what inside ul is will be the class so it has a class of uh, collection with header okay collection collection with header you, all this all this are available in that particular website you can just go there and try to play around with it right it's always fun to play around with such stuff so id because we want this particular id later on right so we are doing it uh, i'll give it names right uh so inside this i will be having li so li with the class of collection header okay you have something called as collection header so this is similar as if you have used bootstrap right i think this particular thing is very similar to list group and list group items in bootstrap okay if you have if you have any kind of such knowledge about bootstrap i think this should be easy for you so here i will write the word m if i go here yes so now i got this m next i want the all the names inside that particular m so what i want to do is i want to take this li again with a new class of probably uh collection item right collection item and inside that i will try to take an anchor tag uh, with which we, which is not going anywhere prob probably and i'll close this and i'll start writing the names so save it and just check whether it comes yes yes things are working and now i think i need to copy paste this probably i will try to change the name i think uh, that time i mean last time it was all like similar kind of words i mean letters so i'll try to change the name so i'll try to do matthew i'll try to make this as mark okay and probably this as yeah mahesh would work okay i just wanted some english names also so yeah so things things might work uh, let me take this one and try and i make it as uh, uh michael right michael i'll keep it something else right yeah so probably mahesh is the only indian here rest all looks from some other places okay so what what am i trying to do is i am trying to replicate the same again right uh, so i'll just copy this right and just paste it out here and here i will do g right and i'll start with uh, uh, gaurav right and ganesh i could have started with a b and c but the names are i mean i am very poor in all this correcting names and everything i'll do some grigor right grigor and what else uh, ganesh is done gaurav is done gautam okay i'm not i'm running out of name guys come on uh, this has been not pre built or pre planned i've just just got some idea and just kept on building on it okay so i think that should be it right i think that should be it if i save and if i go there yeah so my ui is done so ui part is completed now so i'll try to uh, connect the script tag now so we'll, we will be working on uh, script script so basically script tag so this is where you work with your javascript and yeah 
so when when we work on javascript uh, basically uh, we want to get that input right so input has an id where is that input input has an id of filter input so let us catch that particular thing here so let uh, what happened okay, it should be script yeah so let a filter input right filter input is equal to document dot uh, get element by id and pass that filter input there right pass that filter input there that's the main thing there pass that filter input once you pass that i think uh, you should have an event listener to that because uh, this particular thing uh, this particular filter input because we are doing our event on this so our event is whatever we are typing so our event should be key up key up is the event keyboard event so that so we are doing that particular event on this particular variable so filter input uh, dot add event listener of that particular event which is key up and it will what what we want to do we want to run a function so if you if you if you have already seen our uh, few um, past videos you will be very familiar with this because we are doing it in a same particular way so we will give it as fil uh, filter names for the time being okay filter names and then we call that function uh, we can write it as function declaration here all right so uh, function uh, filter names right filter names and we'll just do a console.log of of one two three and check whether the things are working per, per, perfectly or not okay just go there and just type something yes yes so the function whatever we are trying to trigger right everything keep on working uh, so i think we are good to go so we'll remove this particular uh, particular value, console dot log. So filter names. Now I think I think we want to get that particular value. So what what value we are going to type, right? So we want to get that particular value in. So what we can do is we can just take. So let filter value, right? Filter uh, value is equal to. We have already we have already taken taken that particular uh, input field. So by taking filter input so dot value right dot value and we can convert that into an uppercase okay so two uh, uppercase right two uppercase so we'll just save this and yeah that should be it for that and the next thing is what what we want is we want to get all the uls so get uh, names ul or uls so basically ul so let ul is equal to right uh, let ul is equal to so we are trying to fetch that uh, again so document dot get element by id so we are trying to get that particular ul ul means unordered list document dot uh, get element by id and we are passing that particular id which is given to the ul so where is that particular ul yes here is our ul and we have that id of name so we are passing that id down here so uh, so that we can assign we can do some stuff with that we can add some dynamicity to that okay and now from this particular ul you are getting all the all the list items all the list items okay so whatever is there inside that ui you will get that so let li is equal to so we basically do ul dot uh, query selector all so this what does this query selector all does is so whatever it is there inside that particular ul it will grab all that particular data all that particular uh, child child uh, tags so what do we what 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 do we want we want li so we want li so ULs, we are we are we are uh, picking up this particular li, but we don't want this particular li with the with class of collection header. We want only the li's with the class of collection item. Okay, so even this is li, even this is a child of ul, but we wa don't want this particular li with the heading. Okay, we don't want uh, we don't want to consider this particular heading mng, but we want the values inside that. Okay, so what we can do is we can just do li dot collection item right collection item or items item item so we are getting that collection there uh, by telling collection item oh sorry so by telling collection item now you got that collection item but that collection item will be an array okay will be li will be an array so since it's an array we have to loop through that particular array loop through the array all right so we are looping through that particular collection list 
array that is okay just so what we are doing we are just looping through the uh, collection items so we are looping through the collection items i mean all the tags so for we are looping through so for let sorry let uh, i is equal to 0 i less than of course we don't have a limit but we can set that particular limit to li dot length basically so whatever it is the length of that particular array it goes through with that particular array and increments for every iteration right and then so what is there inside that li li tag we have a tags right so we have a, a tags all these are not li's these are the names whatever we have gautam or grigor that is a tags so what happens there is we are assigning it to a variable so what are we doing so li dot i so uh, this will go this will loop through so this will go inside all the collection items and we have a func uh, we have a method called as get elements by tag name so we are getting that element a right so we are getting that particular a tag and of zero that means we are uh, checking that to the correct correct iteration so what is that current iteration so we assign that to let a so let a is equal to we are looping through all the li we are looping through all the particular values we are looping through all these particular values and we are getting that individual values and we are penetrating through inside a because a is inside li right so we are penetrating that through we are getting that particular tag name a and we are going through the each uh, current iteration so now we are getting all this particular value now we have to check now we got this all particular value outside of the array so now we have to check whether whatever i am typing here should match this particular value so if matched what happens if it doesn't match what happens so that is the next next scenario so now inside this uh, if loop it, uh, for loop itself so we'll write if matched okay uh, if matched so what if what if it matches so uh, we'll just check uh, if matched so if a dot so we are trying to check inner html so inner html is the value inside that particular a and since we have done that to two uppercase we'll do this also to two uppercase dot index of so index of that particular value so index of the filter value so index of that filter value filter value is a value which is coming out of the uh, particular uh, coming out of the input field so if that filtered value is index index means it tells uh, it tells what is the character at that particular index if that is greater than minus one so greater than minus one means there is a match so if there is a match then do something else if there is no match do something so what we have to do is if there is a match we have to just tell li dot i dot style dot display because we are changing the style to empty okay we are changing it to empty copy the same thing here and put it here and just print it out and we are putting it here none okay so what happens here is basically uh, we are we are uh, going to have an event listener on the key up that means we are going to have an event listener on this particular input field after that we are taking the ul tags and after that in that particular ul tags we are trying to select the li which has the class of collection items and we took all the collection items there and that will be an array so when, since it's an array we have to loop through every array to get that every every data inside that so we are looping through that particular array and once we loop through we are we are accessing every every item and inside that particular item we have an anchor tag where we have the value uh, which has to be matched so we are going through that particular uh, looping through and we are getting the data and we are taking that particular a tag with the current iteration and we are just trying to check uh, whether that filtered value is matching if that filtered value is matching display nothing or else display none so go here and we'll just check whether we'll type m yes we are we are we are able to do the changes m a m a k no we don't have any match for m a k so if you do uh, g r it's only grigor and if you do k there is not match and everything will go out so I hope this particular exercise really helped you guys to understand the fundamentals of JavaScript a bit more. I think I will be coming up with such kind of videos probably uh, probably soon. So I hope this video was helpful for you. So if it, if it, really, it was really helpful, like, share and subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Okay. Till then, take care.